Hi lovelies, welcome back to another Watch Me Work video. Today we'll be doing an acrylic infill on these beauties. So I did go ahead and remove the old design. I did prep her nails. And now you see me here, I'm applying my dehydrator. So I do one coat of my dehydrator and two coats of my primer as I always do. And these nails have been on for one month and as you guys can see they're well intact. Absolutely no lifting whatsoever, no rings of fire or anything like that. Nice, healthy, natural nails. And if you guys are interested in seeing how I prepare my clients' nails for an acrylic infill, I will have that video on the screen in the cards for you guys. And I will also try to remember to link it in my description box below. So for my infill today, I'm just going to be doing a really basic infill. I'm going in with my clear acrylic powder. You guys already know that I prefer clear, so that way, especially when I'm doing a gel polish design, I can remove it and see what is going on beneath my acrylic. And I'm just going to go ahead and place my cuticle bead, make sure it's nice and flush around the cuticle area and side walls. And I'm going to blend it back into that old acrylic that was previously there. And to do my application today, you guys already know I'm using my favorite number 10 Oval Kalinsky brush from Alpha. And if you guys are interested, I would link it in my description box as well as my coupon code. So you guys can go ahead and check it out. So I'm just going to continue doing the exact same thing to all the nails. I'm going to go ahead off camera, file, shape and buff and all that stuff. And I'll meet you guys right back for the nail art design. Now this nail art design is a sort of a mix and match one. So we are starting off with our main color which is this gorgeous blue gel polish by Madame Glam. And this is on my way and it is actually one of my favorite colors from them. And I'm going to be applying two nice thin even coats of this color and I'm going to cure in between each coat for 30 seconds getting as close to that cuticle as I possibly can without touching or getting any products on her skin. But if I get any on there it's really easy to just take a dry cleanup brush, a silicone tool, even your finger and remove the excess gel before curing. So this is actually those marble inks that I made a while back and I'm going to be using it on top of this blue. Now because it's on top of a blue background it's looking as though it's just two different shades of blue but this is actually a purple and the black that I made and if you guys missed that video I would have it linked in my description box below so you can go ahead and check it out after. To see how I created my own alcohol inks using sharpie markers so I'm just going to play around with my 3d brush and some acetone until I'm happy with the way that my marble looks and when I'm happy with it I'm taking this gold leaf gel from Vetro and I'm just going to be outlining some of those veins so before I go in and cure that I did want this marble to pop a little bit more so I'm laying down my no wipe gel top coat and I'm going to be applying some iridescent chrome flakies into that gel polish and the reason why I decided to add these iridescent chrome flakes instead of a glitter is because I just wanted it to give off a sort of a shine depending on how the light hits it you know it will sort of play with your mind that kind of thing so while that nail is curing I am going to go ahead and repeat the exact same thing to this nail the one thing I do enjoy about doing marble nails whether it be gel acrylic sharpie alcohol inks is that you don't need to fiddle with it in order for them to be perfectly identical and I absolutely love that each nail is unique in its own way and that just helps to bring that set together even more. The only two steps I'm going to repeat when I'm happy with the way that my marble looks on this hand is to go in and outline some of those veins with that gold leaf gel and to apply some of the iridescent chrome flakies. You know, just to give it the same effect but the marble does not need to be perfect. And one tip I can stress on when doing marbles with inks and sharpie markers especially is that you need to wait until they are completely dried before going in with 
any sort of top coat whatsoever because if you don't then it's going to one create a pulling effect in your sharpie markers and i did the valentine's day dripping heart tutorial where i actually did that on purpose and i would have that video in the class for you guys so you can see the effect that it would give so if you don't want that then you definitely need to wait till it's completely dry and another thing if you don't wait till it's dried it's going to just melt all the colors away and take away from that nice vibrant marble that you work so hard on achieving and it's also going to fade some of those veins as well So on her pinky finger and her thumbs on both hands we just went in and coated over the entire nails with the blue gel polish and again i did two coats because that's all most of madame glam gel polishes take two coats some take one hardly likely you're going to get a gel that takes more than two coats and i cured in between each coat for 30 seconds and after doing that i just went in with my no wipe gel top coat on top of them and if you guys are interested in the madame glam gel polishes i will have my 30 percent off coupon code in the description box below as well as the link to purchase now you have to use that link that they provided in order for my coupon code to work so definitely click on that link and then enter my coupon code at checkout so on these two nails we're going to be creating a vertical ombre so i'm going in on half of the nail with that same light blue and then at the tip of the nail i'm going in with this purple gel polish this is also by madame glam and this one is are you indigo and i'm going to take my ombre brush with a little bit of alcohol in it and i'm going to work that gel polish from side to side going up into the blue and then down into the purple now the first layer does not need to be perfect but you do need to get a nice blend so after doing that i am going to go ahead and cure it when i'm finished curing the first layer i'm going to go in and repeat the exact same thing on the second layer now if it is i find like i need more of any one of these two colors i'm just going to add it without even going in and curing this nail making sure to go back and forth between the two colors until i'm happy with my fade and when i am i'm just going to take my thumb and i'm going to pull that excess gel polish off and then i'm going to let her put her hand into the light for just about 10 seconds to flash kill that nail while I move on to the rest and when I was finished with all the ombre nails she went in for a full 60 seconds to make sure they are well nice and cured. So after curing I did remove the tacky layer and I'm going in with my hand file and I'm just going to redefine my shape because of the layers of gel polish I don't want to lose it even though I did go in and remove the majority of the excess with my thumb but I just need to make sure that it stays nice and sharp so now I'm going to take my black gel paint and this one is by Burlwood and I'm going to be creating some random abstract line work on all the ombre nails now I don't plan my line work I just go with the flow so we're just going to do thin lines and thick lines until this entire nail is covered now the reason why I do the thin lines and the thick lines is because it gives it more of a contrast and it gives it more depth and definition but I still felt as though this didn't tie the entire set back together so in order to make sure that everything meshed really nicely and looked stunning i did go in with that gold leaf gel and i applied it in the middle of some of those black thicker lines in order for everything just to seem like they belong together so after doing that i just went ahead and cured everything applied my no wipe gel top coat and that was it for this set i hope you guys enjoyed how this turned out we both loved it so if you did don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and if you're not yet subscribed please click on that subscribe button down below and why not turn your post notifications on one time so that you don't miss a beat the next time your girl uploads a new video so go ahead and drop me your favorite blue emoji with those comments in the comment section below and yeah that's it for me i'm going to leave you right here to watch the rest of this video and until next time, I love you guys, keep safe, and I'll see you soon.